These are two combo extender characters. Um, and I'm, it's just going to be, a, I, it's, I think it's just going to be a damage race from combos and uh, I am excited to see it. I always love seeing him. Now, another thing about Kevin specifically, a lot of uh, his kills he gets at the ledge, and a lot of them from, like, for instance, reading roll from ledge, or just those ledge options. But against mm. Bayonetta, that's going to be a lot less of a thing. Gamer Z. I know how Mario works. <laughs> but it's like, you know, Bayonetta just gets off ledge for free a lot of the time. Mm, it's yes. a, just a lot harder to actually, you know, punish with a smash attack. I love that mm -hmm. early up B. That was so smart. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for, you have to think for Kevin. Oh, wow. What an early call out from Amaryllis. Establishing that forward smash early as uh, as a tool that Kevin is going to have to respect and play around. And, oh, and again, almost, Amaryllis not afraid to swing here. I love to see it. Um, so you, you have to figure um, Kevin is going to have to kind of deal with Bayonetta just running around and zippity doo dying around in the air with, with, with specials and LP and side B and all that stuff. And kind of, Kevin's going to have to kind of pick their spots to go in if they're going to challenge with an aerial. Yeah, well, uh, for which the most part, can do. Well, he, for the most part, he's been challenging with up smash. Like, right, yeah. There's been a lot of ground to <gasps> play from Amaryllis. That's going to be it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, here comes a giant fist, and yeah. <laughs> so that was that's an option we just had not seen. You know, mm -hmm. like as a uh, Amaryllis holding on to that in his back pocket, making Kevin forget that just because he's in disadvantage doesn't mean he can end the world for him. And no way. Okay, gets out of okay. that. Able to avoid a possible death if he was up really high. Uh-huh. Um, well, we could call that SDI. Um, able, able to get out while well, the getting was good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anytime somebody doesn't die, it's SDI. Or exactly, exactly. Who's it's like, us wrong? oh, no. Nah, okay, he's fine. it's too, okay. I like I got. Well, I saw the flood and I got excited for a second, but it is still Bayonetta. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, getting the get you as Mario. I don't think you want to be getting a lot of back air kills because back air kills means that like other stuff did not work. Uh, you mentioned. Um, Kevin gets a lot of mileage at the ledge, um, and you can kind of expect that mileage to maybe run out a little bit against Bayonetta, but, like, Bayonetta's gonna be, okay, those up smashes, Bay you can look to kill with those. Bayonetta's gonna be playing around that range. Ooh! Is that, is that real? I don't think that was That's quite not real. real. It was real enough for Kevin. He's gonna be taking a, what is honestly a really early stock. You know, that first stock had to be taken at like 160 without back air. Yeah. But Mario's smash attacks are so strong. Uh, yeah. And when they do finally find their mark, they are a difference maker. And, uh, uh, ooh, okay. speaking of we strong smashes. Figures. Um, just on that last point, Mario Mains, follow me on Twitter at clamhat underscore. Let me know if that was real, because I really do want to know. Um, but th there's just been this. They have been swanging with these smash attacks in this game one. And this is just game one. We have at I mean, least two more games of this. Honestly, it kind of makes sense just because smash attacks are a really effective way for both these characters to challenge the other one when they're doing all these fancy schmancy aerials. Mm -hmm. Wow. No, that's both a Ballsy parry. <laughs> I mean, if, if you got him, flaunt him. That, the yeah, balls, yeah. That is. You said the word flaunt, and now I'm kind of like, in my head, I'm kind of seeing Mario do like bayonetta dances. Oh. And it's like, it's all right. <laughs> I've, oh, I'm it's, pretty it's sure not, that it's actually not something exists. That I, it's not something that I've thought about before, <laughs> and I've thought about it now, and, you know, it's all right. It's, not, well, it's something you can think about. I don't know. Kevin is definitely strutting his stuff right now. Yeah. 112% onto Amaryllis. One more smash attack. We'll do it. Oh, that might have been it, but instead opts for the safer punish of the grab. Mm. With some stage positioning, will he actually be able to do him in? 
as a bayon like he's up against a bayonetta keep in mind that bayonetta can do crazy damage with combos possibly even leading into a kill if it leaves mario off stage when they're both last stock like this there are some times where bayonetta can be like yeah i'll go super deep off stage i don't worry about making it back if you're dead at the end of this combo okay now that is that is now the second run up turnaround up smash that kevin has whipped that and is the, the third, third one. one, and that one didn't whip. I think that was like maybe the fifth one all game. I was just about to say, Kavine better pull back on the run up, turn around, up smash throttle, but goes up and hits it. I look like an idiot. Kavine is up one game and is. Uh, could be on the path here to win his finals. Yeah, I want to see what move this up smash beat out here. It was just the landing, yeah. Yeah. And okay. That was that like that card has been played. It is like it is now fully like the onus right now is a hundred percent on Amaryllis to watch out for like that option specifically. Watch if Mario is running towards where you're landing, your landing is not safe. Or like unless you hit unless you hit down unless you hold down and hit the B button. Yeah, that was the big thing I was going to mention. Um, we had seen the one witch time uh, for that first stock, but beyond that, wasn't really that much of it. All right, now we have game two. It's going to be instead on PS2. Let's see. What? What? Why do you think PS2? What did I? I mean, I can think of some advantages this has over Battlefield, but I mean, it's hard to know what was banned. Uh... Still. No top platform. I think yeah. I think that might be I think that might be the main reason. Um, Bayonetta likes the top platform on Battlefield too, but it like she doesn't do it like Mario. Like Bay Bayonetta does. Bayonetta has witch twist combos, but those are not like Mario up air ladder combos. It's it's not yeah. the same. Ooh. Ooh, Bayonetta doesn't have that. Well, she kind of does, but what? It, it, it it doesn't turn it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> All it, right. It does do that. It does do get the job done though. Like what? when you do it, it does get it does do it though. Like you do it and it does the thing. Yeah. Okay. That, that's high. That's high, bro. Commentary right there. You do it and yeah. it freaking do does it, the do thing. Do it. Do the thing. Yep. The thing. Consider the thing a done. <laughs> oh. But the thing might need to change for uh. For Kevin, he had that <laughs> but really solid, to change. huge lead early on, but not the case anymore. The damage yeah. output has been... Okay, the fact that he uh, caped the Witch Twist meant he got sent on stage as opposed to off stage. So that Genius. tiny interaction really helped him. Not dead from that, but... Okay, oh, we, we, talk, we talk about uh, <laughs> we, like lying, lying kill screens. I mean, I love it when the kill screen lies to me. Yep. I don't want the kill Mario, screen to Mario, the truth. The, the kill screen on Mario up B is in jail for perjury as we speak. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay. Now, that's quite a few times now. Kevin been trapped at the ledge or trying to recover, and he actually managed just to sneak in the counterattack. <laughs> okay. Just fireball in his face. Yeah! <laughs> Neutral get up, raw fireball, raw grounded fire. No, not even a short oh. up Oh my god. Hey, what I say, in jail for perjury, you're going to solitary, buddy. And, and, and actually, no, not solitary, because ban out of forward throw is right there, too. There are some, yeah. there are some lying kill screens here. Oof. That is not one. Yeah, that will definitely do it, but now 80% on Amaryllis. He's going to have to at least start off with a really nice combo, because he cannot afford too much. Up smash, I don't think we'll do it just quite yet, but... That always has to be in his mind to be fearful of. Oh, and there's the, there's the, uh, I mean, that's not the same exact use case for the up smash, but it is the same hitbox. Yeah. Oh, just oh? The, that was spacing. That was so incredible. No. Fox trotting, dashing back and forth. And I believe, did he catch him dropping shield at the end there? Just anticipated the exact moment that defense was going to open up and he cracks him right in the skull with that forward smash. Let's see this again. Shielding. Nobody in the history the of time grab. expects, nobody in the history of time is ready for that forward smash. Um, but the, like that actually, actually looking at it again, that was just, that I mean, was an he, insane bait. 
I mean, also the fact he forward smashed, I think, shifted his hurt box backwards, meaning that shield grab whiffed. I think if he was standing yeah. still there, he might have actually gotten grabbed by it. So the micro spacing on Kevin's part, that's going to get him another game and put him up 2 0. Now that's really big, but we just saw a set. The set between yeah. Zane and Slingshot, where. Slingshot got reverse 3 0 So Kevin probably just witnessed that. He cannot get too comfortable. Doesn't matter how well you played the last two games. You need to seal the deal. Right. And in, and and when the KOs have been ex as explosive as they have been um, in this set, um, like they're like they're. I feel like there are, there are kind of clear situations that you have to look out for, um, or you can try and like tighten things up. Uh, you see Amaryllis going for a little, for a lot more <laughs> dash dancing. Um, maybe trying to take a little bit of, uh, a page out of Kevin's book. Yeah, and Kevin answers with dash dancing of his own. But now we have those solid Bayo combos. We hadn't really seen too much of them in the last game, at least. Oh, but this time around. See if he can get off the ledge for the last while. It's been a bit tricky for him. Oh, he Ooh. waits for that roll, but doesn't quite actually punish it. Now Kevin once again slightly down. The bat within, that's huge, but not able to get the massive punish that I feel like Amaryllis needed right now. Ooh, I like that early witch twist to 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 put Amaryllis into like a, a weird position. Like, that was definitely not where Kevin was expecting. Oh, wow. The... the that had to have been a phantom hit or something. That was that up to was so close to connecting. That backer was even closer. Close enough to actually hit that time. Mm -hmm. And now Kevin has to figure out how he's going to get this kill. Oh, especially without taking massive amounts of damage. Oh, he has no jump. Early up B again. So that's a little bit of a habit that it can be tricky to punish. But if you're Amaryllis, if you study that, that if he up Bs early after losing his jump and then gets hit off stage, he could just die. Mm. So it's been effective the last two times. But if you are Amaryllis and you're really looking for those habits you can exploit, Ooh. that might be one of them. <gasps> so okay. smart! Oh, oh wow, but... Uh, Kevin going a little bit too far, and um, not in a position to punish the high, like the high landing from from Emerilis. Emerilis, like in that situation, um, up air guns extension, totally does gets the job done, uh, and so does that back air again. But that's again, anytime you get a back air, you know that's a pretty good stock value. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's see how this will go. Another one of those. Ooh. So he's been, yeah. The, he's been, the, okay. I, I I like the weight, but uh, that like still it it doesn't it looks it looks worse when you do the weight and still and then don't get anything. Yeah. Now one thing I do want to just touch on. So we've been seeing Kevin get a lot of mileage off of these dash dancing, just going into the range and then you know zipping on out of it. But one adjustment that Emerilus has been making is dash attack. Uh, mm. Right there, actually, the counterplay from Kevin managed to spot dodge it, but didn't actually get a solid punish of his own just due to the dash attack displacement. And forward throw at the ledge at 169. Yeah, you better believe that's going to do him in. That, this is a healthy lead for Amaryllis. Um, and Bayonetta has a, like tons of tools to play at range and really just make Mario hate his life. As as he just gets paper cuts from from bullet arts from bullet climax. I'm not saying like sit back and camp with the B button, but um, Bayonetta can really uh, it, it can really make Kevin force the issue here. Yeah, that being said, Kevin is the kind of player where I think he's going to force the issue regardless. Even when he has a massive lead, he still mm. he likes to play the game. He likes to you know beat the crap out of his opponent. So he was going to be doing that. I mean, I, I, it's very rare that you see him not opting for that. Oh, that air dodge was so slick. Back throw at this point, still not going to do it. It's slightly sailed. But yeah, and this is the thing where you kind of can't mess around with Bayo at the ledge. Look how much respect he has to give it. Mm hmm. And that, like, that, that, that's, it's such a textbook interaction of like Bayo does ABK on stage. Oh, oh. my God. Can they just, are, are we just, is, did, is there a rule that every game has to end with an F-Smash? Um, 
I believe that's in the special rule, so we have to go into oh, special okay. smash. All right. All right. I, 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 mean, I guess it's just like blank smash because um, Amaryllis making a statement here in game number three saying uh, we might actually get two reverse three O's in, in winner's semis. That's insane. Um, game four is going to be the real story here. Yeah, the narrative is either going to be pushed that we have uh, the reverse 3-0 incoming or Kevin, you know. I, I mean, for the most part, that game was still pretty even, but the smash attack call out, that was mm -hmm. the huge difference. You know, Kevin likes, you know, to throw out aerials, likes to be dashing around. And if he gets killed for it, because, you know, Amaryllis is just anticipating it, you know, that limits his movement. You know, he but hey, moving all over the place. So if he can't do that because he just gets fisted for it, then that's going to just, at the very least, he's going to get more scared and his own game plan was going to weaken. Here's my question to you, though. Game number three. No. We talked about... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> um, we Game number three, we talked about uh, like F smash callouts, up, sma up smash callouts from Kavin. Where'd they go into game three? Because I feel like there weren't as, like, they, they, the well kind of ran dry. Uh, and I think that was, that may have been what allowed Amaryllis to pull ahead. I, I kind of agree with that. But at the same time, I think it's okay to sort of bench the uh, the up smashes for a while. They're very effective. But true, if true. you overuse them, then the opponent can really catch on. They're, uh, on, they're on cooldown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, they're, they're a really good move, but they need at least a one game cooldown if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> using them frequently. Um, oh, yeah, but he might have to start, or at the very least, bust out something impressive, because already 127% on Kibine, and only 51 that he's been able to dish out. One back here, one Whoa. forward smash, that's it's, gonna I, like, do it. The, the, these, this is an open note test right now. Like both play, like both of these players are like, they have the book on their opponents, and they're just like, okay, if you're gonna like, if I'm gonna tell if you can F smash me whenever you want, as long as I can do the same. They, 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 they I swear they hand shook F smash reads before this set. I don't know. I feel like it's more that Amaryllis stole Kevin's notes because early on mm. Kevin was getting all these nice forward smashes, but that has not been the case for the last while. Well, Amaryllis was the Amaryllis was the one to establish it first, like, opening up game one with like two immediate F smash callouts. Um. It's 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 definitely been back and forth. Um, okay. okay. At the ledge, Amaryllis finally. And there, okay, out. there it is. That's, that's, that's it. a textbook interaction. Uh, Bayo ABK on stage. Mario looks to punch with an up smash. Um, those interactions, like both players, are acutely aware of that of that interaction when Amaryllis goes, like, when, when, when Kavin is waiting there and when Amaryllis goes for that ABK. And, and, it, and from there, it's just like kind of a handshake on who's gonna execute better. Right now, Amaryllis is executing fantastically. Yeah, that's what, so we've seen that Kevin definitely can have these huge combos that lead to stocks, but he hasn't really been able to do them. Whereas, mm -hmm. as we're seeing Amaryllis, oh, oh no. huge. Okay, okay, low percent, okay. so not gonna get too much. I mean, anytime you see this, anytime you see that purple come out, you're just like, oh no. Oh, whenever you see Mario get a grab, you also have to be a little bit, oh no. Yep. That, anytime you no, see I'm... Bayo whip a grab, you, like, you know what Kabeen's about to be doing. Oh yeah, and okay, finally a nice up -y. Gonna get some damage back though. It's not gonna do it at this percent. But Kevin now has the stage control. He's recently been able to pick up on some of those habits. Oh, but he actually gets caught on the counter attack. He's already taken 54 and he needs to find a way to end this stock immediately. Oh, or he's just gonna eat all of the damage. And I was just about to say, one more of those Witch Twist strings is like, that is the difference between like average extra credit and potentially game winning extra credit. I mean, we saw how far that back air oh, descent. Oh, you're done. Jump. You're done. No, oh, no, fine. you're not. The directional what air was dodge saving him. But it's the sort of thing where now, even if Kevin manages to take this stock, Emerald <gasps> responds, and he has to be immediately worried about dying. Still, forward smash, back air at the ledge. 
Um, it is true that Bayo doesn't have that many kill options, so Kevin might be able to pull something off here still. Oh but my he has god! To be so careful. He's like his 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 clothes are getting torn by the the spikes on the fist going like pixels away from his body. Um. <laughs> Em so Amaryllis is uh, Amaryllis is not out of the woods in this game four yet. Oh, because Mario's oh almost no. max rage, and like if at the rate that Kabine is hitting smash attacks and getting these grabs, that like that was the game if that hit. Yeah, and okay, shields that not even oh, to get through the past the force, though. Brain genius. <laughs> Knowing that Kabine was ready for that ah, aggro F smash again. Four yeah, that first, F smash was like first. sort of, you see, he went backwards. He bashed back and then forward smashed. Uh, wasn't like catching a landing or anything like that. That was what we saw Kevin doing a lot earlier. So it really yep. does feel like Amaryllis is using his own playbook against him. Uh, like, look at this. Just dashes back, completely whiffing that back air means that Amaryllis is able to punish him super duper hard. But... Man, did Kevin fight tooth and nail. That was in that no way, no way free for Amaryllis by the end. But now we have 2-2. The reverse 3-0 very well could be coming our way. It all comes down here to game five. That F smash at the on the side platform of Battlefield, like, there is an alternate timeline where that F smash hits and Kevin's in winner's finals right now. Um, I mean, we're not out of that timeline just yet. Still, Kevin only needs one game, and he does have counter pick advantage. Do you think we're going to see Battlefield again? That's a good question. Because um, it's it almost seemed like MRLS was using Battlefield better in game number four than Kevin was. Getting like There was that one kill. I think that's the only kill that MRLS has gotten off the top this whole set. And you see Kevin, it's yeah. like, okay, fine. You win. Let's go PS2. Um, and I think, I think that plays out, I think that plays out better. Right, quick damage. The fact that Bayonetta has Bat Within means that Mario's combos have to be sometimes truncated. He can't quite get as mm -hmm. aggressive or hungry as he normally would. He has to respect the fact that Bayonetta has a frame one move that gets her out of a lot of those, uh, those strings. Oh, that's a, uh, a, a bit of a questionable up D. I don't, um, Emerilis wasn't really anywhere near Kevin to the point where you're going to be looking to do that on reaction. And now Kevin kind of just like, air, uh, like any time Emerilis is getting away, Kevin is just like looking for that escape button, looking for that air dodge out, looking for that up B, anything that they can do to get out of those combos. He neutral get up in his face, but I don't think Emerilis had done that once before, and so Kevin was just not ready to punish it. Well, you know no, what? Emerilis, Emerilis didn't get up and throw a fireball. That's why. That's why <laughs> Kevin wasn't ready for it. No! That up smash almost doing it. Oh, wow! The trade right there. These little snipes here. And the, the fact that he was able to stall his recovery like that really helping Amaryllis. The question is, though, whether he can actually capitalize it. He's still trapped at the ledge. Kevin been managing to get all this damage, but can he actually get a stock from it? He does. That back air finally finding its mark. He waits out the spot dodge, and that's going to be possibly the first big. Never mind. <laughs> Who's, is, at this point, Amaryllis has had the more impactful S smashes, I think. Even despite, oh, I, um, like, even despite the fact that I think Kevin won both games with F smash... I think Amaryllis has gotten more F Smash kills. Oh. Never. Oh, okay. Amaryllis, no. the homie, making me <laughs> not look like a fool. Kevin that was an F Smash. Wasn't heard it? you. Kevin's listening to commentary right now, and he's just like, mm. "Was that an F Smash?" That was F Smash. That was double F Smash. Ah, damn it! You were talking about how high impact those. Uh, he's just like Kevin doesn't have high impact F Smash. Kevin, turn the stream off. Stop making me look like a fool. Yeah. It's rude to listen to commentators. Also, it makes your connection worse, probably. <laughs> I don't anyway. know about that one. But regardless, now all of a sudden, Kevin with the massive lead. Almost, yeah. we are approaching insurmountable points. Unless Emerilis is able to close the gap, which he is starting to do. Another F smash at this point will definitely kill Kevin and 
Beyond that, though, it can be kind of tricky to I, end stocks. I love the switch to fireballs here. It's all it's all Kavin needs for the rest of the stock is fireball damage. He, but well, like, fireball that like uh, the like another you know let's say Kavin gets like 30 more seconds of fireball damage that probably wins you the game. But you don't get 30 seconds. You don't even get 10. And now Amaryllis with a final lease on life there. The air dodge up. Uh, Amaryllis respecting the down air forward smash. Yeah. Oh. And oh, the double dab, the double dab K. Oh, looking for up smash, looking for any of these smash attacks to connect. I'm pretty sure any one of them will <gasps> do the deed at this point. But and Amaryllis, Amaryllis has gotten the flashy stuff, but it hasn't really amounted to that much damage. Kavin is just sitting and waiting. Like, like, like a hunter stalking its prey. And now we have... Oh, okay. 121% down air. It's not going to do it just quite yet. Amaryllis but you know what? Add down air to the list point. of moves that's going to kill eventually. Yeah, okay. But here we have that possible edge guard getting started. Kevin realizes the danger, and so he just immediately air dodges towards the stage to get his jump back to put himself back on solid ground. That still okay. not enough. It's slightly stale. And 69%. This okay. Oh. Now things okay. are starting to get spooky. Forward Damage is almost kills. there for Amaryllis. Oh, that's oh. it. That ABK landing. Oh, the landing. Oh. He does it. He makes the comeback. The tiniest little landing hitbox of the ABK sets himself up for the back air. There were so many moments where it seemed like Kevin had the set. He had the massive lead. He had all of these kill screen moves connecting. But in the end, it did not matter. 91%. He goes for this and then he jumps right into those heels. Amaryllis sticking with it. Actually managing to make that just absolutely phenomenal comeback. Okay. Straight up. D-A-B-K. Landing hitbox, converting it into a... I know it wasn't a combo. I, it wasn't a string. Like, it was a jump punish. But, like, D-A-B-K into killing with back air is the coolest Bayo thing I've ever seen in this game.